let's take a look at the very important tool, the compositor. To show how it works, I'll go quickly over this workflow. So I'm starting over with an underwater scene that I like the style of. It's connected as a reference image to four different stable diffusion 3.5 nodes, and each of them getting a different description. This one is asking for a small orange fish. This one is the same. This one is um, asking for a mom fish and a dad fish. I'm, because I'm using the same reference image, I'm getting all of them centered and it's generating different characters. Then I'm using mask extractor in order to isolate the character in each of these options. And then I'm using compositor in order to manually control the composition of the image. So the background is um, my reference image. And on top of it, I have four different layers of four different characters. I can move them around, rotate, scale them. I can even go for some blending modes like multiply, screen, overlay, and the rest of them. Um, so the idea here is that I'm manually controlling the composition. I don't have to try and write it down uh, with an elaborated prompt. I'm just manually uh, placing the, the characters wherever I want them. And then I'm using Flux Dev Redux in order to render the final image. Let's see another version of it. So here I'm using, I'm generating this background and these two models. I'm removing the background from these models and I'm using comp in order to place them on the same background. That was important to me because I wanted to use same background for all of the mo all of my models by using um, prompting i wouldn't get the same the exact same background so i had to use this compositing in order to place my models on the same background using a concatenator and an image to image to get the shading right and then i'm using topaz upscale just to give it a final touch of uh, details all right, so that was another use of compositing. There are a lot of ways to use it, but um, these are the prominent ones. Um, see you soon.